So, my name's George Dunn, Chief Executive of the Tenant Farmers Association, and I'm here to talk about a common ploy that landlords' agents quite often use in farm rent reviews, particularly rent reviews for tenancies regulated by the Agricultural Holdings Act 1986. And that's how they include the value of farm houses in a rent review. Often, it is the case that you are looking at a farm against other farms that are comparable to your farm. And that's fine. You can look at the characteristics of each of the holdings and look at the individual components of those farms and come to an assessment of the level of rent. But one of the other things that's really important to do in a farm rent review is to look at the, the budget, what the legislation calls the productive capacity of the holding and the related earning capacity, and then decide how much of that pre-rent surplus you're willing to share with the landlord in terms of rent. But what we often find landlords agents doing is doing that budget calculation. So looking at the pre-rent surplus that you're able to produce, taking into consideration all of the relevant factors and the productive capacity of the holding and its related earning capacity, and then producing a divisible surplus between the landlord and tenant. So let's say the divisible surplus is 10,000 pounds, and you agree with the landlord that you're gonna give half of that divisible surplus in rent. What we sometimes then find landlord's agents doing is trying to lop on top of that the value of a farmhouse. And that's a completely unacceptable way to include a farmhouse in a rent review. You need to be looking at the comparable holdings with farmhouses and to decide how much of the farm rent that is being paid in that comparable situation is a percentage of the divisible surplus of that holding. And you've got to apply that to the subject holding, the holding that you're doing your rent review on. It's completely false to be trying to do a divisible surplus and then adding the value of the farmhouse on top of that. You can do it as a component valuation approach, but not if you're doing it on the basis of budget. So watch out for landlords agents who try to add the value of the farmhouse on at the end of a rent review discussion where you've already discussed the divisible surplus.